Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October the 4th of 2020, well, it is titled Orion Nebula in oxygen, hydrogen and sulfur. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of the Orion Nebula nearest star forming region to us in our Milky Way galaxy. And within an area like this, we know that stars are currently forming. And we can see some of the evidence of that here as we see some very young stars. And we also see lots of the gas and dust left over but gas and dust that is actually being illuminated by the stars that are left behind. So typically a gas will just will show itself by dark patches and we can see some of those here where darker areas block out light from behind. But in other cases here, the, the dust is actually being illuminated by those hot stars. And in other cases, we see most of the nebulosity here would be hydrogen gas as well as sulfur and oxygen, which we're looking at in the image that is caused to glow by the ultraviolet radiation from those hot stars. So when we get a bright nebula like this, it generally means that something energetic has been going on. And in this case, it is the formation of stars. Now when we say we're looking at it in oxygen, hydrogen and sulfur, it means that we're looking at three specific colors, three wavelengths that are emitted by those gases. Each gas has a very distinct pattern of lines that it will emit and can only emit very specific colors. So not just say green light, but a very specific shade of green is emitted by a certain element. And that pattern serves as a finger print and is what allows us to be able to identify objects out in the sky and what they are made of. So how do we determine what something is made of when it is 1500 light years away like the Orion Nebula? Well, we can do that by examining the light that comes from it and studying the patterns within that light that will tell us what is present. Now, as I said, in this case, in this image, we look at three specific wavelengths. So each color, hydrogen, oxygen and sulfur is mapped to a specific color in the image. And then they are all put together to give us the image that we see here. So this is what we call a narrow band image, which looks just at those specific wavelengths as compared to a general picture, such as the kind you would, would take with your camera, which looks at broadband, which looks across the entire spectrum and picks up all of the colors. So this gives us a way to be able to study the Orion Nebula in more detail. So that was our picture of the day for October the 4th of 2020. It was titled Orion Nebula in oxygen, hydrogen and sulfur. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Hubble spiral. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.